Hey everybody, so today I am doing a 32 week pregnancy update because it's been a while since I've done an official one of these. We have vlogged and everything and shared stuff about the pregnancy in between my last update, but I wanted to like give you a full update today. Um, so I am about to head into my 32 week midwife appointment at the birth center. And so we're gonna go do that. I'll try to get some clips in there and then I'm gonna share with you guys all about our symptoms and like basically just like everything that's oh. happened um, since my last update. Feels like the baby's head's down. That's good, okay. <laughs> we'll confirm that at 36 weeks, but at this point, it's like babies. I read the instruction manual. 145 to 150 range. Very okay. nice. Uh, you know, the normal range is anywhere from 110 to 160. So, okay. You know, they'll speed up a little, they'll uh -huh. slow down a little. Huh. And you said 145? Yeah. Okay. Eh, 145 to 150. And so you <laughs> might feel punches, you might uh -huh. feel rolls, you might feel stretches. Yeah. All of those are normal movements. Okay. But we want you to check your baby one time a day. Okay. Generally about the same time every day. Okay and see how long it takes the baby to move 10 times. Okay. Is that standard for just, you would say that to anybody everybody. or is there like a reason? Nope, of any... everybody Okay. <laughs> at this point. And so when you come in, we'll say, how long does it take your baby to move 10 times? Yeah. Now, you know, practicing that deep relaxation. Exactly. I think the biggest thing with labor, I mean, you talk to 10 people, they'll give you all kinds of advice. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the biggest, the biggest piece of advice I can give is labor is the only time in your life you want your body to override your mind. Yeah. You gotta get your head out of it. Yeah. Are you mm -hmm. try and overthink it. Are you exactly. trying to go, I don't know where Yeah. You're where you're supposed to be. Yeah. It's yeah. a natural thing our bodies that's are created that's, to do. So. That's actually, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly yeah. where you're yeah. And your body can predict it for you. Yeah. Okay. So it's just kind of going with what your body's doing. One thing that I always recommend as well You'll be well hydrated yeah. okay. and as well rested as you can be going into okay. labor. How, how likely, I mean, so July 21st is mm -hmm. the day. Um, obviously, <laughs> obviously <laughs> that's, uh, it's, you know, uh, is there like, a, there's probably a 90% chance that it's not the day, but uh, <laughs> could it could it be anywhere from? 37 to 42 weeks. Okay, so that would. Now in women having their first babies, we know that um, the average it's going to be about 41 weeks. 41 oh, weeks in okay. one day. Okay. So I always say shoot for 41 weeks uh -huh. and you're less likely to be disappointed. Okay. So many people <laughs> think if they go at 38 weeks, they don't consider themselves early. Yeah. If they go one day past that magical target date, they say, yeah. oh, I'm late. Okay. Yeah. You're not late until you're after 42 weeks. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And sometimes what will happen is women at the very end of their labor will flip over to hands and knees. Uh -huh. And now their butt is half out of the water oh, okay. and half in. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're either going to drain it uh -huh. so that baby is yeah, out of the out. water <laughs> or we're going to fill it up mm -hmm. so that when baby's born, baby's under the water okay. and comes Got up. It. It's okay. because of the maneuvers that they make. They'll do this kind of dip yeah. and you don't want them to be out of the water and then go back into the water. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's something we watch for. Okay. And and so we'll be changing water um, as need be based okay. on the positions that you're in. Okay. We have little Minnie Mouse joining us today. She has been extra cuddly with me lately. I think she knows I'm pregnant or that something's up with me because she's like always wanting just to cuddle with me. Anytime I'm on the bed or if I'm laying down on the couch, she comes up right with me and just cuddles. So my husband and I got back from my pregnancy appointment a while ago. We did some errands after that and I came home and took a nap because I was tired. That's one of my biggest symptoms right now is I have definitely been extra tired. And my midwife was saying that's completely normal. She's like, even if you need to take two naps a day, rest a little bit in the morning, rest a little bit in the afternoon, as long as it doesn't interfere, interfere with your sleeping at night, that's good to just be getting in those naps. And she was just saying how, um, especially as you get closer to your due date and just towards um, labor time, just to really be conserving your energy. So that way when you go into labor, I will have energy and everything. So that was reassuring because I've definitely been tired and I have been definitely taking naps almost every day. 
especially in the afternoon. Another symptom I've been having lately is my feet have started to hurt and I've had a little bit of swelling in my feet and my ankles. Actually yesterday my ankles were like the most swollen they've ever been. So I was like doing, trying different things like putting um, a cold washcloth like around my ankles and then I also did a foot soak with some salt and essential oils. I used peppermint and eucalyptus. I really wanted to use lavender because I've been, um, one thing I like doing is taking some lotion or some jojoba oil and mixing a little bit of lavender essential oil and rubbing the, that on my feet at night and it's like really relaxing and it feels good. Um, but I have no idea what I did with my lavender essential oil. I've been using it all the time and I misplaced it somewhere so I need to find it. <laughs> So like I was saying earlier in the vlog, the last time I did an actual pregnancy update video was at 20 weeks. I'm now 32 weeks and by the time you're seeing this, I will actually be 33 weeks along. So it's been a while, um, but again, my husband and I have been doing some vlogs, so I have given little updates throughout those vlogs. I'll have them linked below if you guys wanna check them out, as well as our whole pregnancy journey playlist. If you're new to um, our channel, you can go and check that out to see the whole journey um, from us finding out we were pregnant till now. But some highlights I've had from that point until now. One, I had my baby shower um, up in Northern California with my family. My mom is the one that put it all together. It was so much fun and I felt so blessed by it. My mom is amazing at planning events and stuff like that and the decor she made and everything was so cute and the food was good. Um, she made a lot of gluten-free foods because I'm gluten-free and it was all forest kind of woodland theme because that is actually the theme we're wanting to do with our baby's little area which is over here um, to the left of me. Uh, he's going to be staying in our room for right now so we kind of have a little corner. We've moved our bed over to create more space for him over there and that's like the decor we're kind of wanting to do is like that forest woodland theme with like bears and mountains, foxes, trees, all that kind of stuff. So she went along with that theme and again, it was just so much fun. We were so blessed. I felt like we got spoiled by our family with the gifts and everything they provided. At 26 weeks, we had a little bit of a pregnancy scare. I have not talked about this. Um, on our channel and a lot of people actually don't know about it uh, only a few people know because it just kind of happened really fast and then everything was okay um, but it was definitely scary I uh, one day I just had a little bit of blood when I wiped and for I mean that'd be scary for anybody but for somebody who has been through two miscarriages your mind just goes kind of okay what's going on like it, it just it honestly it terrified me um but I was just trying to remain calm I told Bri he was probably freaking out a little more than I was but we called my midwife um and then we had to actually go out to the the birth center we're going to has a few different locations throughout Southern California and the normal location that we go to that's closer to our house was closed that day. So we actually had to go out to one that was a little bit further than us. But we made the drive, went out there. Um, the midwife checked on the baby um, just with the um, uh, electronic fetal monitoring. I hope I said that right. Yeah. And so we were like attached to the monitor for about a half hour. Um, she had me drink some apple juice just to get him moving so we could see if I was having any contractions or not and how his heart rate was doing. And then she checked to see if I was dilated at all um, for whatever reason. And everything was okay. His heart rate was fine. I wasn't having contractions. I um, wasn't dilated at all. So everything looked good. Um, she, the best thing she could tell me was it was probably just some sort of broken capillary that caused that little bit of bleeding. And then I did go ahead and get a Rogam shot because I do have a negative blood type. I was going to need to get it in two weeks anyways at my 28 week appointment, but they went ahead and get, gave it to me then. Um, cause whenever you have bleeding in pregnancy, 
uh, or whatever, or after you give birth, if the baby's blood type is positive and yours is negative, they go ahead and give you Rogam. But uh, I just remember <laughs> that whole drive out there, Brylin and I were just praying the entire time. And I remember we were driving out there and I could feel him moving. So I'm like, okay, he has to be okay right now, God. Like, just please like let everything be okay. I just got so worried. But God had it completely under control, and I'm so thankful. We're both really thankful that everything is okay, and we haven't had any of those happenings since. So, thankfully, everything has been good. In fact, every time we go in for an appointment, they keep saying how, like, all, like, my blood pressure, um, my weight my like just everything like I'm like super healthy and everything's like excellent and like above average which is awesome to hear I think a lot of that is attributed to uh, exercising we walk every morning um, and then I have been doing pregnancy stretches I have a um, one of those exercise balls and stuff so I use that too and all of that works really well. And then just to the way we eat, eating really healthy, organic, whole natural foods, avoiding sugar and um, like bad carbs and stuff like that. So that's been really good. I also had to do the glucose test at my 28 week appointment. It actually wasn't terrible um, and I did pass. I had no reason to think that I wouldn't pass because I don't even eat sugar. And then they had checked my glucose levels earlier in the pregnancy um, without the glucose test or anything, but they said like it was like at a really good number. So that was good to hear. From our baby shower, and we're actually having another baby shower in June coming up here in a couple of weeks with all of our church family down here. My small group leader is throwing us one, which is so sweet of her. And again, she's doing like the forest woodland theme. So I'm really looking forward to that as well, getting to celebrate with all our friends down here. But we have, again, like I said, we've been blessed. Um, we have a lot of his essentials that we need. There's still a few more things that I feel like we need to get um, but we have the basics down, which is really good. We have a stroller, car seat, um, we have a dresser for him. Right now, our crib is a pack and play we got. I actually want to get him a real crib. Bri thinks that we should just do the pack and play and save money. I know a lot of people use pack and plays and they work just fine, but then there's like the decor part of me that's like no I want the cute crib and everything so I might even like I've been looking at used cribs in our area I would definitely get a new mattress but I have no problem with buying a used crib so I'm looking into that as well just to save us some money but I'm really excited to set up his decor and everything because we have the different pieces it's just a matter of like putting it all together but I want to vlog that as well doing a little day like where Brylin and I actually set up all his decor so if you guys want to see that let me know Another thing I've continued to do is see my chiropractor, which Brylin and I love the chiropractor we go to. We've been going to him for, well, Brylin's been going to him for longer, probably like a year and a half to two years. I've been seeing him for like a little bit over a year and he is just so knowledgeable. He's so about like natural birth, like which, which is what we're doing and him and his wife have kids. So like they've been through all this and he has like this wealth of knowledge more than just chiropractic care like I we go in there and we ask him questions about other stuff and he's like always willing to talk with us and answer them and give us resources so um, he's been a huge help in this as well and I think um, that has really attributed to helping with my back um, because I really haven't had a whole lot of back pain throughout this pregnancy even though I I'm like one that tends to get a lot of back pain because my neck and my shoulders are pretty messed up, um, but they've definitely have gotten better. And there was one day where I was having really bad back pain and that's because baby boy has been going up into my ribs and adjusting things. <laughs> and that can be kind of painful when he does that. Um, every once in a while I can feel him like up in my ribs and like things are shifting. Uh, but when I go to the chiropractor, I feel so much better and it's just been kind of helping keep my whole back and 
my hips in line and I haven't had a ton of round ligament pain and I think that's because of the chiropractic care as well. So uh, if any of you are curious about seeing a chiropractor, I definitely recommend it as long as you're seeing a good one. If you can start seeing them early on in your pregnancy or even before you're pregnant, I think it's a really great idea if you can find a good one in your area. And that's just from my personal experience. I love it and I think it's been super helpful. I've still been drinking my red raspberry leaf tea every day, but I have upped it to two but I have upped it to two bags a day. Um, so I'm getting a little bit extra. And then probably once I hit 37 weeks when it's like the safe zone to actually go into labor, I will probably up it to three just to really help with like the toning of the uterus and getting all that going because I've just done tons of research on that. It's supposed to be super helpful. We're not taking any specific pregnancy classes. We're going to be going to a breastfeeding class that my birth center provides for free. Um, but as far as like labor and birth type classes, we've just been doing our own online research. I think I feel like there's a wealth of knowledge online now. I've been watching some really um, positive natural birth stories, which helps and just learning stuff from there because I feel like any of the programs and classes that we were looking at didn't really like fit like what I was wanting to do, if that makes sense. Um, I think we are leaning towards more of a water birth because we can do that at our birth center. I just like the idea of that and I've always thought baths were relaxing. I love taking baths so I just feel like I'll be really like a lot more comfortable in the water. So that is what we're looking into and then I'm just kind of working on like relaxing like breathing techniques and um, I definitely plan on listening, like having a playlist on my phone. I'm actually going to work on that a little bit later today. Um, getting a playlist and uh, kind of like scripture, um, spoken word scripture type stuff that I can listen to um, just to help me throughout the contractions and the labor and everything. So that is kind of what I'm going to do if that makes sense. <laughs> but I think the biggest thing is what I hear over and over again and even my midwife was telling us today just reassuring us that this is a completely natural thing. The best thing you can do is to let your body do what it needs to do. Just kind of like let go and let your body do what it needs to do because like our bodies women's bodies were created for this. Like the, God is the one that made our bodies to be able to do this and the whole labor and birth process. That is just kind of what I'm reminding myself of and what I'm praying about too. Um, definitely have been praying, one, that he is a smaller baby rather than a huge baby because both Brylan and I were big babies. That's one thing I'm like, God, can he just be like a little bit smaller than Brylan and I were <laughs> because... That would not be fun, but it's totally possible too. There's so many women that give birth to big babies completely natural. Um, so whatever, but that's one thing I've been praying about. And then two, that I would just be able to have a relaxing, nice birth. Like I don't have expectations of it being like this super easy thing, but I am praying for an easier labor a faster labor <laughs> and of course that there, there would just be like no major complications or anything but I will go ahead and show you guys my bump and in my stomach so you can see how that's going oh another thing I wanted to say is I have yet to ha get stretch marks at least I believe I don't have any um, unless they're there but they're like hidden until I have the baby and then I'll be able to see him but so far I've asked Bri too I'm like can you see any and he can't see any either so um, I mean, there's still a possibility that I'll get some, especially since we still have a little while to go. But so far, so good, which has been really nice. And all I've been using is jojoba oil lately and rubbing that on my stomach. But my stomach hasn't even really been that itchy. There's sometimes where it itches a little bit and I kind of just like lightly just go over it with my fingers like this, but I don't like scratch intensely or anything. Um, but again, I, I hear a lot of women say that their stomachs get super, super itchy. I haven't really had that, which has been nice. And then one more thing I have noticed um, the past couple of weeks, my breasts have been super sore, like probably more sore than they were throughout any point of the pregnancy. So I think they're just like um, growing even more at this point to get ready for breastfeeding. Uh, that's going to come in a couple of months. So... We'll see. <laughs> so here's what my bump looks like with my shirt. And from the side, 
and then and then here is my stomach So I hope you guys enjoyed this 32 week pregnancy update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I think I talked about everything I should, I, but my brain's not really functioning the same as it does when I'm not pregnant. So if I forgot to share anything or if you guys have any specific questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll either try to answer them in the comments or I'll answer them in a um, another pregnancy video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.